Hi, this is Jeff from the New Janky Workshop, and today we're going to be making a quick little project that I like to call the Crap Cart. This project is super simple. You don't need many tools other than a cordless drill and a circular saw to do it. You can also use a handsaw. You can buy these two foot by two foot, three quarter inch pieces of plywood as is pre-cut at the store. They're called project panels. In case cutting plywood is intimidating to you and you're just getting started. But if you're comfortable, you can easily save a decent amount of money by buying these as a full sheet or a half sheet of plywood at the store. And in most cases, these stores will cut them down for you sometimes free of charge, sometimes for a small fee. The two by fours, however, do not come in three foot lengths, but these can be trimmed down at the store for you, or you can trim them down yourself using your own tools. What we're first going to do here is cut the two by fours down into three foot pieces. And once we have that piece, take this one right up on our miter saw there. If you don't have a miter saw, you can just remark it. I'm going to repeat the process for this leg. You can do this with a circular saw, a hand saw, anything that saws wood. I just happen to have a miter saw, so I'm using this. They're all roughly about the same size, and that is perfect. Look at that. Not bad. All right. Now that we have those, we are going to grab our plywood. And what we're going to do is basically just screw these onto the plywood. You can glue them, so let's do that as well, just for a little additional stick to itiveness. For this, I'm going to be using my bench vise here, so I can get this flush with the table. This is not a requirement, but it helps. That feels flush. Next tool we're going to need is a drill and a driver. You don't have to use both, but you can. Use one of these fancy things, or you can also just use your finger. I'm going to make sure it's flush to the edge. And I'm going to drive three holes in here. Start with my inner. Drive that in. My outer. Make sure that's still flush. There we go. I have one leg attached. Now for the next one, because we are have a leg here and I can't fit this into the vise anymore, I am going to move this all the way over to the edge, grab my next leg, and eyeball it. The table itself is flush. Let's do that. Spread it out. And drive a couple construction screws into there. We're not building a piece of fine furniture here, so if it doesn't completely line up, it's not a problem. Rinse and repeat. This one. I'm going to use my vise again. It's a little trickier, but not too bad. Just so I can get that other leg down. Yeah, and I'm going to hold that down, press it. Could clamp it if you wanted to. That seems like a bit of overkill. But hey, you know, do what you want. Oops, split out a little bit, but hey, that's all right. It's a crap cart. Now we have one more leg. Pull this out to the edge. And now, we just have to do the same thing, but for the bottom piece. Might be wondering, how do you know which one's the top and which one's the bottom? I don't, nor do I care. There we go. There is the basics of your crap cart. And on this side, come around and see some space in between there. So I'm just gonna back those screws out and then drive them back in. There we go. And now, one final bit we need to do on here is add some casters. We'll just go to my crap under here and pull out. My caster collection. One, two, three, four. Now, these are all I got in my bin. These are non-locking casters, but you can easily get locking casters 
And I like to bring these right out to the edge for the most stability. I'm not even gonna measure where these things go because it doesn't matter. Just using some simple three quarter inch pan head screws to start from the outer corner and then I can make it prettier from there. Now I'm just gonna take it one step further. It's gonna be like putting racing stripes on a Pinto. We're gonna put some edge banding on this thing. Some maple edge banding. And my cut mark, I'm cutting it an inch over because I wanna cut these down flush once they're on there. Now we're gonna use my fancy tools and cut this down into strips. It's a crap cart. Apparently, cut these too big. Now, if I only planned my f***ing projects out before I did them... I'm using my 23 gauge brad nailer here, but that is not needed. You can use trim head screws, small finish nails, whatever you're good with. And for the last side. Now I've put some additional lipstick on the pig. And this lipstick is a nice shade of black CA glue, using this to fill in all the holes and cracks in the plywood. And then to really make this thing pop, we're gonna use a little finishing oil on the walnut. For that I like to use WD-40. Nothing quite gives it a shock finish like WD-40 does. Oh, let's make the top of this pop as well, shall we? Thank you so much for watching. Now, this is the crap cart, but not because it's just a piece of crap, but because it can be used to store your crap or to move it around or really for anything else you need it for. As I mentioned earlier, it's a quick and easy project you can make with very few tools. I am also using this as a way to get better myself with making plans. So, as you guessed, maybe from what I just said, the plans are gonna be available for this in the description below. Cheaply, it's the crap cart. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing or maybe checking out our exclusive content on Patreon for just as little as a dollar a month and help supporting the channel or maybe just sharing this with a friend. Thanks for watching. This thing can also hold a surprising amount of weight. May not look like it, but I am a surprising amount of weight. I'm gonna get down from here now. I'm scared.